Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, please abiding by the with a really good and preachy uh, Judas run recently. Oh good. Why not? Why not do another keeper run to keep the dream alive? 4DVE H40M. Um, the last keeper run that we had was one of the strongest, probably the strongest keeper run I've ever had, with the caveat that um, you do have to consider, like, we've, we've beaten Mega Satan, and we've beaten Hush as Keeper. The reason that happened, I believe, is because of, you know, the mom transformation combined with Nod Leaf. So that's just a percentage play. Those runs were not necessarily good. It was just, if you were patient, it was plausible to never get hit. Which is, I mean, I guess that's a definition of good. Small Rock, please. A bomb. That's it, That doesn't hurt. In a weird way, you know, I'm interested in the idea of blank card here, but we gotta look for our item room first. The last keeper run that we had was offensively one of the best keeper runs I've ever had. Maybe the best keeper run I've ever had. Um, what do you do as the keeper? Well, I mean, we're getting pretty used to it. Not saying we're getting good at it, but we're getting pretty used to it, considering how much it's uh, it's come about here. Prayer card is actually garbage for us. It doesn't give us anything. So, it's pretty much like the worst item we could expect to get at this point. I guess, it, theoretically, we could get a worse item that gives us nothing. Um, so I'm just trying to do this in such a way that we won't be hit, but I'll still get access to the Tinted Rock. So I'm pushing, like, all these barrels off to the side, if possible. Like, more to the side, ideally. Just in case, and then we'll just shoot this. We got a key. Worthwhile? Yeah, worth our time, but a little bit of a bummer nonetheless. Now, we don't need more than one penny left on the ground, so we might as well grab as much of this as we can. And, uh... Wow, that's a regular secret room. That's not even a second secret room. We could bomb our way into our shop. I don't know what we'd be hoping to find. I'd rather save a bomb for the possibility of fighting a, a very difficult boss, like Ragman, for example. And I'm not even going to use a bomb against Duke of Flies. And immediately after saying that, I'm like, I'm going to use a bomb against Duke of Flies. I'd rather save a bomb for a, a more difficult boss, but we'll probably get one later. And, uh, you know, being able to easily kill Duke of Flies is fine. Matchbook for an evil upgrade and four bombs. Honestly, you could do a lot worse. Could have gotten a lot of money out of the secret room there, but again, it's kind of bomb prohibitive. Uh, did that sentence? Th that's not the way that word sounds. Bomb prohibitive. Um, in the sense that we need those bombs for, for other purposes, I think. So we should be shooting poop. We probably shouldn't have taken that. Okay, we're going to get hit once. You just have to accept it. And we're going to probably have to survive um, another room without getting hit as well. Well, no, there's a 50% chance we'll, we'll have to do that. Because we're, we're going to get a penny charge back in a minute here. Or in a second here. Two pretty tough rooms to start this you know, floor out here, I gotta be honest. Okay, that's a super bomber. This is good. This is really good. For a bomb, we give ourselves a much better chance of surviving. We might not even need to use the bomb. Maggie's bow did give us HP. Maggie's bow is another item that is borderline useless. Um, I think somebody got my, uh, the items I wanted on my Judas run confused with the items that I wanted on my Keeper run. Because we're kind of balling out of control on a run where we need some HP, but on a run where we need uh, on a run where we need some DPS, kind of urgently, it's a little bit of a different story. That's okay though. We're gonna get up to five cents. It's all about. I really like this room. This room is like a puzzle that once you figure it out, it's gone forever. You know, or it's it's safe forever. So we uh, we know how to handle this room to maximize our bomb usage. We've been to our item room. We're probably not going to go to our shop. We'll see if maybe we get a petrified poop and that could change my uh, opinion ever so slightly. But let's go see what our boss holds for us. It's regular Monstro, but it's regular Monstro on a tiny room. We could have easily been hit there. In fact, probably every time he shoots, we could be easily hit. So I'm going to throw a bomb in just to speed it up. These bombs, you know, you never appreciate them more then you appreciate them uh, on a keeper run where getting hit twice means that you're dead. We got no deal with the devil. That's fair. I did get hit. We got speedball. 
It's not really very good. Um, but we're a little bit ahead of schedule, so let's go do some exploring here. This is good. You know, in the last episode, we got a lot of time to talk bullshit. On this episode, uh, it seems like we're getting into some more, uh, like, actually semi-skillful Isaac play. That's nice. I'm gonna go ahead and say that probably the shop has a chance to be viable now. What are we looking for from this guy? It doesn't matter. Like, HP... Theoretically... HP is better, and it is what we got, but uh, it, it, let's put it this way, it means we can take this pill. I was actually just gonna say, the worst case scenario would be like, if it's a speed down, for example. But we did just get a speed up from, um, from our uh, speed ball, so it's not the end of the world either way. You know, we still have roughly the same speed that we had when we started this floor. Mind you, it would have been nicer to have um, more speed, but keep in mind, how are we gonna get speed downs from this point onwards? The only path that I see that's viable is Taurus. You know, we're very unlikely to take Lard. We're very unlikely to take uh, Thunder Thighs. Both of them are uh, HP ups that contain some risk uh, as well, especially Thunder Thighs, you know, walking into a mushroom or something by accident. Um, or on purpose, I guess, even as well. Champion Belt, totally fine. All right, we'll, we'll move on here. And uh, if we have money on the ground, we should take it. I don't think there's a, like, there's no transformation from less than three, so we're pretty much just good to go here. Uh, bad run. This is certainly as compared to our last, uh, keeper run. This one's a little bit on the dicier side. Curse of the Unknown is, it, it shouldn't be a problem. Let's just leave it at that. Might be interested in going in there. I mean, that, it's weird, but the odds of you getting a, uh, a penny out of a stu two stone chests, not stu chone tests, but... Two stone chests uh, is high enough that it's almost like you would be stupid to not go in that room. Because the odds of it paying for itself, at least in terms of HP, are, are quite high. This is very, very good. Now, we're not going to be able to get the principal value of the virus defensively. You know, getting the extra black hearts out of it. But, okay, we didn't get the virus either way. But if we had gotten the virus, um, we would have loved getting so close to spun so early. We really need to pick up uh, DPS early on this run. Because uh, we're the keeper, you know? The earlier you get DPS, the less likely you are to take preventable damage in the early game. And, you know, hopefully that allows you to kind of coast until you can make a... Until you can make your keeper run viable. Yeah, that was bad dodging. Might have caused us to deal with the devil, but... Honestly, deals with the devil are, are secondary on keeper runs because of the fact that most of the time um, you can't take them anyway. Some of the time you can, though. I prefer just to get free deal with the angel items, but we need to, of course, qualify for a deal with the devil to start that uh, train rolling anyway. Steven, worth it, obviously, happy to have it. Any damage upgrade is good, and I'm not in a position to be uh, to be saying no. Well worth it there as well. Just get this guy out of the way and then escape. You don't get anything extra for staying on that room. Okay. We do save a... Uh, a key here, and our shop is now not viable. Mom's wig is okay though. I don't. <laughs> yeah, we save a key. He says while using a key. Either way, it's fine. I think we actually have another nickel available, so maybe I was premature to say that the uh, the boss or the uh, the shop is not going to be tenable for us here. But let's just get through this first. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. If we do indeed have another nickel, come on. If we do indeed have another nickel, um, we will be able to get something from the shop. And really, we're looking for passives, let's be honest. Even though the 9 volt is not that uh, useful for us, it's big. And, you know, mom's box of trinkets, maybe just to use it. Save that outside just in case we need. Okay, this is actually getting. Borderline silly at this point. Flies from uh, mom's wig. Not something we can necessarily rely upon, but helpful nonetheless. Probably cost ourselves angel slash devil chance there. Okay. Bad play. If you get hit three times on the peep fight, you really don't deserve to... Uh, you really don't deserve to win a keeper run regardless. 
Okay, we're fine though. We're fine. You know, we're gonna pick this up. We get four cents out of it because we were using one cent to keep ourselves alive. Um, inside of our shop. We might try the card. We're fast enough that uh, a way out of boss rush would be good. And you know what? A justice card is not bad. A justice card is, uh, it's a get out of jail free card. We get a penny out of it at the very least. So I think, uh, we should just hold this until it's desperately necessary. Definitely we'll try this and see what we get. Should leave one penny on the ground. Even if we forget these pennies when we leave the floor, it's more important to leave at least some on the ground just to keep us alive. And I think on the last floor, you know, Mom's Wig might be... Well, Mom's Wig plus Steven certainly makes for, like, the best situation we've been in on this run. But it's got to get better uh, or we're going to be in a pretty dicey position as the game goes onwards, you know? Could probably afford to take this one now. Um, we, we need to... It, it's just a reality of, of life as the Keeper that you pretty much need to be overpowered to have a good chance of winning. Probably should have used a uh, wooden nickel at some point on that run, or on that room. I don't mean to sound, uh, I might seem like I'm a little down right now. If I seem down now and I was up in the last episode, you should know I'm recording these like, you know, this one started like five minutes after the end of the last one. I'm just focusing fairly intently here on trying to keep this run alive. Not for the purposes of the streak, but it, it's, it's more of just like an honor situation right now where you're like, I want to win this run to prove that I can, and, you know, keeper runs are the best or at least most common test of some Isaac skill, especially one like this that's a little, uh, little spooky right now. So grab all this. There's no better use for extra battery charges effectively, so, you know, getting up to 26 cents is actually really good. We should be able to, uh... Have a chance at something in our shop again. And, and for now, I, I need to point out that, you know, the shop key is actually quite nice. This is not the shop key. Uh, or whatever, greed's... It's not greed's key, but doesn't this make it so that uh, there's never a greed in the shop? I thought that was the case. Do we want more flies or do we want more pennies? Or do we want an extra... I was going to say, maybe we want an extra something out of uh, Book of Sin. In the end, I don't think it really matters too much. More flies might have been, like, the best play short-term, but who cares. We have unlimited bombs on this floor, by the way, so... Uh, I should go back and take a look for potential secret room access. If we can get into the boss trap room, especially with unlimited bombs, like, there might not be a better opportunity to take advantage of that. And actually, now that I think about it, if we have unlimited bombs, we should open this golden chest, too. And if this gave us the ability to fly, could be like actually genuinely transformative. I hate doing this because it takes forever. And if you get it wedged in the corner like that, it takes even longer. There is a theoretical chance that I bung it up so badly, I walk on the spikes. Oh my god, you almost had it there. But it takes as long as it takes. We got a bomb and a key. Uh... Unfortunately, not a secret room. We actually could use our justice card to give us a guaranteed survival on the cursed room as long as we played things perfectly. I, I don't think you can have a justice card that doesn't give you a penny or a nickel or, or a dime, for example, but... Wow! I have squand... I'm, I'm embarrassed. I honestly am embarrassed by that death. But I love looking at the bony like that. That, that actually hurts me. We were in such a good position there. All right, well, you know, it happens. That's the first, like, considerable brick I've thrown in Isaac in a while. Oh, you wouldn't. She fucking hates me. GPY4, JRCM. Okay, well, you know what? I like playing as the Lost as well. Got the Lost with a little guppy's head action right off the bat. Nothing wrong with that. And in the weird way... As much as it might seem like this is, like, two bad rolls, I actually think that this is a really good roll for us because it gives us a shot at redemption. There's no shame in losing a keeper run. I want to put that out right off the bat. Even though we lost it in a pretty, let's be honest, a pretty shitty fashion. It wasn't the game, it was me on that one, and that's the principal bummer of all. Especially because I, I really thought that we had a great chance there. Um, 
We're, uh, especially because we had a justice card and I, I used my charge, but I didn't use it properly. Just a little brain fart, unfortunately. But uh, we have a chance of redemption here as the Lost. Again, the Lost, not a difficult character to win as, certainly. But uh, the second most difficult character to win as, probably. So uh, if, if we can manage to pull out a victory here, at least we'll be starting like another run of form on a good note. And yeah, in the end, the, the run was actually fairly nice to me. It wasn't last keeper run nice you know the one where we got ridiculous magic mush you know so overpowered it was it almost became a joke by the end of it but it, it wasn't that bad so i'm i'm bummed but i'll get over it you know life goes on we lost a run we we probably had a good chance to lose regardless just later as a uh, as a character that's tough to play as to begin with we're up to 14 cents on the first floor very high for a uh for a lost run. I can't remember. No, Judas starts with three cents. The lost starts with zero, right? It's not like uh, Mom's Perfume gave us any. There we go. Now that the Immolated Hopper's dead, we can actually get some damage done here. What do we want? It's just DPS. Like, uh, HP is obviously worthless. Anything that gives us damage, I'll take. You know, luck, speed, transformation elements. Those would be secondary. Um... And, you know, game winners, if possible. You know, something like a Magic Mush is probably as close as we can get to an actual game winner on a boss fight item uh, without chaos. So, uh, for now, it's looking pretty good, though. I mean, you, I was going to say that we start with Holy Mantle. and and Or I was going to say we got Holy Mantle, and that makes it ridiculous. But you start with Holy Mantle. Guppy's head, great pickup. Obviously, the Guppy transformation is seems within reach. If you're not going to get a, a DPS upgrade, honestly, getting... Um, no, 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 I don't want that. Honestly, getting a... Um, Something like this is actually pretty useful, and we can use the Joker card on the first floor to get another Guppy item for free? So we're actually only one Guppy item away, and we get uh, Brother Bobby out of it as well, which is, you know, middling at best. But we do have two Guppy items on the first floor here, so close to ridiculous. Certainly statistically unlikely right now, but, but close to ridiculous. And I gotta be honest, like, the Lost feels so overpowered after that Keeper run. Um, we can get nine lives here, and that just feels like it would be fitting, right? Oh, we... No, wrong, wrong boss. We got Yum Heart. Yum Heart as, uh, as the Lost. Not really the kind of item you're looking for, to be honest with you. We should have peeped our shop on the last floor as well. I just realized we got over 15 cents. I just kind of got caught up in that Joker card and, uh, wasn't thinking straight. I gotta, I gotta try it, okay? I don't know if it works, but I have to try it. Okay, I thought maybe it would turn us into Guppy. In hindsight, that doesn't seem very intelligent. But, oh, we got we did get uh, Battery Baby for free as a result of buying Diplopia. And we got a few extra flies and Bomb and Key. So, I mean, it obviously, there's better plays for Diplopia. Um, but considering that our deals with the Devil are free to begin with, you know, we'd be waiting for Boss Rush to, to take advantage of them. So, I, I will say that's a misplay, but... You know, if you think that's like a 9 out of 10 misplay, it, it's not. That's just, you know, that's like a 4 out of 10 misplay. That's like, the announcers go, I don't really know what he was thinking on that one, but they don't, you know, put it in the top 10 misplays of the month or something like that. I, especially for me, you know, I could I could fill up a lot more low lights than that. Okay, um, we probably want to at least pick it up, give us better book chance in the future. There's probably not that many books that we want, but, you know, as far as I can tell, as far as I know, in my impression at least, there's no downside to there being a library except that it costs you a key. So, we might as well keep that potentiality alive. And uh, maybe there is a downside, like, maybe it takes a, it, it lowers the chance of getting other rooms as a result of getting a library. I don't know. Probably not, though. This guy's gotta go, because if we take damage, we're, we're just fucked here. At least we got... Decent amount of flies for being in there, and honestly, we're done with this. And I'm very, very hopeful that we get the Guppy Dream. We'll still get a deal with the Devil on this floor. Like, that's, uh, is guaranteed. Let's make sure we don't die against the Widow, which would be, like, just about the only thing more embarrassing than getting hit twice by the same bony four floors deep in a Keeper run. I don't think we got hit at all there, so fair enough. Luck up. Again, if you're going to get HP, at least hopefully it has something else attached to it. And this is a scary situation, admittedly. But it's a scary situation that if it gives us Lump of Coal, I'll be happy to uh, to deal with. Okay, that was not smart on my part. 
But we're gonna make it through. We got Krampus's head. I think we prefer the flies. It is a close call. Like, I, I consider these items, like, right up against one another on the, uh, on the power rankings, but... Probably worth checking. Dude, really? Do we have to, though? Invisible enemies that could ruin my run? Maybe we just leave. I don't want to hit the button unnecessarily. Similarly, like, this room might not be worth doing. But we're only going to fight three enemies, so... Or three waves. Get through the first wave. Oh, God. <laughs> it's my worst nightmare. No, we, we should be fine here. Fear shot makes them pretty manageable. Money's great as well. We're up to 15 cents again. Ah, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Just, you know, we had we had the face... The people that ended our... The, the enemy that ended our last run. So I, uh... Got a little anxious there. We don't even have Guppy's tail. And yet the, uh... The amount of uh, golden chests on this floor is getting a little silly. Luckily, you know... Whether by luck or by our luck stat, we've gotten a lot of key drops, so... Feeling pretty good about that. And Battery Baby giving me occasionally uh, more flies than I bargained for is very nice. Single-handedly basically beats some rooms for me. We are very, uh... Impoverished from the sense of having low DPS right now. We still have our starting DPS. We have Brother Bobby helping us out, but that's not much of a damage, you know, improver, all things considered. And, you know, we're, we're lucky enough that we have Guppy's head to pull us out of the, uh, you know, the purgatorial position we'd be in were it not for Guppy's head. But when all your hopes hinge on an item like that, it'd be nice to kind of diversify your, uh, where you're getting your value from. If only for peace of mind. Yeah, we'll use a bomb to get some more money. Ideally, at least. And it, it did work out like that. Okay, so we use a bomb to get into our shop. What are we looking for? Uh, there are space bar items I would replace uh, Guppy's head with. As much as it's, you know, saving our run right now. There are some that are better. Uh, red or blue candle. Both of which would be... Uh, I would be very interested in checking them out at this point in my, uh, in my run. Apart from that, any and all passives, dude. Car battery would be really nice right now. Okay, the big misses on that. To, to miss Isaac shots like that is getting a little silly. Uh, farting baby. It's really bad. If the best thing you can say about an item is that it doesn't hurt you, it's a bad item. You might be a farting baby if... Okay. Both Sharp Plug and Converter are completely useless. The Lovers is also completely useless. Um, I just popped it to get rid of it. I, unlike, you know, useless pills, there's no way that we can pivot uh, the Lovers into anything else. Unless we got like a D20 or a, you know, Crack Dice or something like that. Well, luckily we have nine bombs and, you know, it would be really, really nice to get a deal with the Devil here. That's all I'll say about that. The Hollow is not a bad boss fight, so somebody up there, you know, already likes us. And I won't—I don't mind using a couple extra bombs, although at this point it's probably deemed unnecessary. Uh, the deal with the Devil chance is what I'm hinging my hopes on right now. No, but a DPS upgrade, so I'll take it, and we'll move along. And you know, we're ahead of schedule for boss rush, which is an indication that the run's going okay. Um, but I'm, I'm not, you know, there's, there's two different things you got to worry about. One is, like, are we okay right now? And one is, are we going to be okay in the future? And, you know, I, I, past returns, I guess, are no guarantee of future returns. But on the other hand, um, you know, some items give you greater potential than others. And I would say that right now, our potential is pretty high because of the fact that, uh, you know, we're one guppy item away from being guppy. But there is a caveat there. And the caveat is that if we don't get that item, you know, if we don't get that out, we're kind of screwed. So, if we can just stack up, like, consumables here, and then re-roll them all, that's completely fine by me. Uh, the callus is unnecessary. We've already got a decent trinket. We've got a golden chest back here. Has Bob's rotten head. Could be worse. If that had given us magic mush, I would have been stoked. But sure, you know, Bob's rotten head, 
We can still get Bob's Rotten Head in the future, unfortunately, because of, uh... Sloth payouts, but... It does contribute towards the Bob transformation. The unbelievably rare Bob transformation that we are not anywhere close to getting, but, uh... In theory, sure. Could happen. What does it even do for you? Something to do with bombs. All your bombs. You, you spawn bombs. Bombs have creep. A ba 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 bombs have creep. Ba 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 ba. Okay. Well, Brian and Wilson, I am not. Though I am a purveyor of lying in bed, just like he did. Or a proponent, I should say. I don't sell lying in bed. Although that would be a job that would be very inelastic. As the everybody likes sleep, dude. Probably. I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a som somnambulist. I don't know what is a sleep doctor called. It's probably why they, when they introduce themselves, they go, "Hey, I'm Doctor Payne. I'm a sleep doctor." That's P A Y N E. Okay. Like the fear shot has dis disappointed me greatly there. Bombs are very important here. We need to, like, neutralize. Oh, no! <laughs> ah! Okay, I, I really thought we had a good chance on that one, but... You rushed me down. Well, you get to see me at my lowest here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode nonetheless. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. We're going to keep doing random runs because I like this. You know, I like that the game can put us... At a 20 to 1 shot. I like that the game can make us, you know, a 20 to 1 favorite as well. And you don't know what it is until you hit that space bar. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.